Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and I'm a third year optometry student. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I use Anki, how I make my flashcards, what add-ons I use, how I customize my deck, and how I customize the deck to fit my schedule. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, now we're on Anki. So first I'm going to show you how to do the add-ons. So we're going to click add-ons and here are the add-ons I have. So how you get that is you just go on Google and you type in, let's say the first one I wanted is the closed generator. So I'm just going to type in closed generator, Anki add-on. And then that would give me this page. You're going to scroll down and you're going to copy the cult. That's literally it. So then you're going to go back to Anki and then you're going to click get add-ons and then you're going to paste the code and then you're going to click OK. Um, I'm not going to click OK because I already have it but once you click OK it's going to automatically add on. It literally takes about two seconds to add on and then you're just going to restart Anki and then that's how you're going to get the add-ons. So the ones I use in particularly are the closed generator, the custom keyboard shortcut, the heat map, um, image occlusion enhanced for Anki 21 Alpha and improved Quizlet Anki importer. Okay, so we're gonna go and start with the basic. Um, you create a deck. Let's say this is gonna be for your fall 2020 class, and then let's say you want um, subtopics. So let's say your chemistry class, and then. If you want that to be under fall 2021, you can just drag it in like I did, or you can create a deck, and then you can put fall 2020, these two things, and then ocular pathology. And then that would just do the same thing. Click on fall 2020, this is how you're gonna add a card. The first thing I'm gonna be showing you is how to use the most basic way. It's gonna be salts and degeneration, and then Okay, so another way you can do a flash card is a basic and optional reverse card. So, which you're gonna put Sawsman Degeneration, I can't type. <laughs> and then you can add a reverse, just put like a Y, um, then you add it. And what this is gonna do is you're gonna get two separate cards. So, you're gonna get the first card, which is Salzman's Degeneration, that's your answer. And then another card is that they're gonna give you the definition first. So, good for diseases, like I gave the condition name and then I gave characteristics. You only have to do that once, and two cards will be generated. So, next we're gonna do my favorite, which is Close Deletion. You're gonna add, and then you're gonna pick Close. The reason why I love this is that you can just go and make flashcards off of your PowerPoint. You can literally just copy and paste a sentence. So basically, this is the sentence I want to take. I'm just going to copy. Um, let's say I just copy it straight from my PowerPoint and then add it right here. And there are four different ways I'm going to show you how to use close. So the first one, very simple. Let's say I want to take out these words. Okay. And I'm going to click Control Shift C. And then that's going to show up like this, and that's how it's going to work. But then let's say I want to do two different closed deletion. So I'm going to do one for here, and I want another one um, for two to three days. So how it says C2, that's going to be your second card. So basically we're going to go to the first one, and then the second one. And that's it. Or you can do a close deletion of um, the same card with different parts where it's closed. So you change that two to a one, and let's say you want to do oil and debris as well, um, and you want that to be a one. Um, or you can do, you know, one right here, two and three for three different cards. It doesn't matter how you want to do it, but if you do it like that, you're gonna see this card and it's gonna close three different spots. So I'm going to show you the fourth way to do it, and this is actually my favorite way to do it. So I'm going to take the sentence right here, and let's say I take out male, 10 to 20 years old, and then you see how right here, before it closes, I'm going to put my highlighter right there and add these two dots, and then I'm going to put demographic because it's describing demographic. 
characteristics. Um, this is great for when you're doing clothes deletion and um, I guess you want to specify what it is that you want to answer. So it's going to show up like this and see how instead of the clothes deletion earlier where it's just a dot dot dot, this is demographics. Then you can answer exactly what you're looking for, which is your you know, male 10 to 20 years old. And then the second one, instead of the dot dot dot, it's going to say characteristics and then you're going to answer blah blah, whatever you want. Oh, and I forget, there's one last way you can do close, which is actually one of my favorite ways. So I'm going to do that. And then let's say I want to take out to 20. So basically, when you get to this card, it's going to include the 10 to 20 years old. And then that's all. But you can add a little extra more in the extra. So what you can do is, let's say... Um, the answer is 10 to 20 years old, but in your notes, you have an extra sentence like Coats disease usually in 8 year olds as well Something like that. You're gonna click Cards And you're gonna click add field And then you're gonna click extra And then you're gonna click OK So since I already have it already, it popped up again So I'm gonna take out what I just put but usually it will be the first one that pop up right here. But if you do that, you're gonna get the same card and it's gonna have the dot, dot, dot. And then when you click answer, you get an extra um, little information on the card. I mean, it's really good for if you have extra notes that were said by your professor and um, you wanna add in some extra details. And the best way to learn anatomy would be um, to use the image occlusion. So what you're gonna do is just gonna go Google or whatever PowerPoint slide you have open up and I'm just gonna do a picture of the eye anatomy. And we're just gonna use this picture. You're just gonna screenshot it or save it, whichever one works for you. Then you're gonna click add and then you're gonna go to image occlusion enhanced and you're gonna click this green button right here and you're gonna click that picture and there's two different ways you can do it so go ahead and click this thing right here you're just gonna cover the words and you can change the color if you like. I think my default is yellow and I don't care enough to change it. Okay, so what you can do is you can hide all, guess one, or hide one, guess all. So we're gonna do hide all, guess one, and just show you what it's like. So basically everything is gonna be hidden and you're just gonna guess the red. And then let's see. Use the same picture again, and let's say you take out this, and this, whatever, and then you decide to hide one, guess all, which is basically you're just going to have everything else unoccluded, and then the one that you're trying to figure out is the only one that's shaded. So, whichever one you want that works well found a flashcard deck on Quizlet that you really like and you want to import it to Anki. What you're going to do is you're just going to copy the link and remember how we downloaded the Quizlet converter earlier. You're going to go up here and you're going to click tools, import from Quizlet, um, paste the deck and then it's here. There it is. So that's a good way for you to use Quizlet decks that you've seen or if you want to make Quizlet's deck on Quizlet instead, you can go ahead and use those and then import it into here. And so that's basically how I make my flashcards. Actually really simple, very easy. And now I'm going to show you how to customize the cards. Okay, so you're going to click cards and then what you can do over here is you can change the font. Um, I have mine at times New Roman, but you can do Arial. Um, times and I can't think of any other fonts on top of my head but you get you get the point um, okay so we're gonna do times new roman and you can change the font size I have mine at 25 um, if you want a smaller font size you can do 20 or 10 
and then you can also change your text alignment i have mine the center because it just makes sense for me for it to be in the center but you can also put left if it's going to go on the left or right or center and then your color you can do black you can change it to pink um red you know you get the point and then background color i have mine at light gray but you can also change that as well if you want to do blue that would change to blue um pink ah that's actually pretty cool <laughs> and you can also do white but i think the one that i like the most is light gray it's kind of easy on the eye and then you can change it for the front and also you can change it for the back template i'm going to show you how i use the option tool to customize my cards and my studies so for steps and minutes, you can do 1, 10, doesn't really matter. You can do show new cards in random order or show new cards in the order added. Um, that's self-explanatory. If you want your cards to show randomly, you can do that. Um, I like it in the order I added because they kind of go with each other and it makes more sense to me. When you're doing cards, let's say I make 100 cards that day, but I don't want to do all 100. I want to slowly build my progress. You can change the new card today. I have mine at 50 new cards a day. And then for reviews, um, I have mine at 999 because I want to do all my reviews every single day. But if you want to limit yourself to, let's say, maybe 100 new reviews a day, that's okay too. You can put 100 here. For me, the review cards are basically the only reason why I'm doing this. So I want to get all the review cards in. So maximum interval is how long you want your card to be in the back of the deck for. So let's say there's this one card that's what's the color of the sun. And you know that like the back of your hands, you know, you know it's like yellow um so you don't want that card to come up all the time and so your maximum interval and let's say mine is 60 days so i don't want to lose that knowledge forever of course but i want it to come up every now and then so i want it to be 60 days before i even see that card again so that's the maximum um, amount of days before your cards get shuffled back in the lapses i like to go on five minutes interval you can do one you can do ten whatever you like this is for my default for all my cards, but you can also do by specific course, which I clicked it for my fall of 2020. Um, so that's gonna go toward this specific course. And lastly, I wanna show you my favorite feature, which is the heat map. And of course, you can just Google it to get the cold. Um, basically, this is what it is. It shows a progress of your work in the past, you know, however long you've been doing it for and um, it shows the longest streak you've had going on, the current streak, um, your daily average cards. And then when you click on the option, you can also change your color. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.